Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is 8.15, Tuesday morning. <sighs> it is already just sweltering. And it's not that hot out. It's actually only, well, all right, I guess it's 79 degrees. So it's only in the 70s, but it is just, ugh. Man, I got up to load the car and take the garbage out, and I'm like, holy shit. It is just brutal out there. So, yeah, glad I'm going to be in AC all day. Ha ha. I have a five-hour and five-minute drive to my first meeting. Yes, it's that week uh, or one of those weeks. So uh, you're talking probably a good six hours. It, it's just going to be a, a long freaking day, long couple of, long few days because five hours to my first meeting, I got three meetings today, then I got to drive to the hotel and then it's several meetings tomorrow and then a long drive to the hotel and then the next day it's like a four plus hour drive home i guess i didn't hit the powerball last night i did not wake up to any kind of email telling me so so that sucks so yeah all right road brew and i'll turn you on whenever something remotely exciting happens or i want to road rage all right so i decided to stop this is like the first rest area that once you get into the across the border into North Carolina, that uh, is available, and I really had to pay, so I thought I'd stop. This is a nice little area, which I will now show you. It's not uh, by a river or a swamp, it, like some of the places that I have stopped before and showed you, but. It's still nice. I, I kind of really dig all these trees. They're really neat. Uh, so I think I've gone a, a, a tad bit over two hours, maybe two and a half hours, which means I'm, I'm maybe halfway, uh, which kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going on 11 now. So yeah, I'm a little over two and a half hours. All right, we're gonna reluctantly get back into the Forerunner and keep going. Well, alrighty, so we had our first meeting. The Insta360 shut off from being so hot. And I've, I've been driving, eh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes with the AC blasting up there enough to cool it down. Once you get out of this vehicle, because it's so hot now, five minutes, five minutes, it's unendurable in here. So given that those things are sitting on the dash, they are gonna just cook. And I mean, again, the arm that I'm gonna get for this Action 3 will take care of that because it'll stick out a little bit further. Uh, then I might have to go to ultra wide, I don't know, we'll see. But the, the point being is that it'll be out here enough that I can angle the freaking AC vents up to it. So yeah, that's always been my concern with having this thing, all this stuff mounted on the dash is that it gets too fucking hot in here because it's all sitting in the direct sunlight. And I've, I've proven that with the first time of using the, you know, the, the RS and, and leaving the vehicle for my half an hour, 40 minute meeting and having it be so hot in here that it's shut off. Uh, okay, yeah, so I need to turn this thing off of the air up there because it's the hot as balls in here. Life on the road, man. All right, enough bitching. Good morning, everyone. It is the Devious Monkey here. It's Thursday morning, about 10 after 8. I am all packed up. And ready to go. Pleasant, huh? So it is another beautiful day out. Hopefully it stays that way and I can drive in relative peace. So we've got... Oh, shit, I think like a four, at least a four, almost five hour drive because of stops. So no meetings though, and we're just going to head back to the beach. So let's do that. Okay, kids, I got the arm and the double ball extension and I have it hooked up. Now it, the thing that gets me is that like, oh, man, if this were just like just a wee little bit in front of this mount, it would be perfect. But the problem is, is that 
it's not a wee bit in front of it. it it's like back behind. So that's why it's not getting any air and why it is overheating. But even though I got a small extension arm thinking that I needed to move it out, I mean, if I'm putting my hand right here, I can feel the vent like blowing literally, I don't know, like almost right out there. So, I mean, where I've got it right now, it is, it is getting the vent blowing all over it for sure. Um, but you can see now if I leave it in wide field of view and I sit here like I normally do, then it, it is not going to, uh, it's not going to pick me up. It's going to get part of me. Now, the thing is, is that given that my wife is not in here all the time, I can always just tilt it over like that. Maybe even a little bit more so that it's like, like it used to be when I had the A7 whatever mounted over there off that arm. Now, instead of getting a straight on shot of, you know, the entire interior of the vehicle so that you're getting me all the way over here and then the rest of nothing over there, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with it. The most important thing is that it is getting cooled, which it is. I gotta replace this cable. There is so much noise coming because of this cable that it's it's maddening we're gonna go for a little ride now right now i haven't eaten since breakfast other than like a couple of vanilla bean scones when i stopped at a starbucks to pee and get some brew blah blah and just to stop but i'm hungry i guess is the bottom line so i'm gonna go to this wendy's i haven't had a wendy's chili in a long time so i think i'm gonna go to wendy's and just get a chili with uh, a side salad and go home and eat because I'm starting to feel like a little bit like, ugh. So that's all you get. <sighs> if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.